soon as I get my jeans out of the dryer. What to? Replacement for Yolanda? Not a nibble. What do you think I ought to do? Offer more money? For Josh in marriage? <laughs> Speaking of. Hey, I thought you came to drive me. To yeah, school. I got a back seat for you. Are you decent? Does that answer your question? Hi. <laughs> Hi. You know, when my mom woke me up this morning, the phone was still off the hook. <laughs> I don't remember when I hung up. I love falling asleep talking to you. Makes me feel so connected. Let me grab my books. Okay. Here's one. Thanks. I uh, I just read them for the articles. Funny. Hey, you got pigs of Brad Pitt all over your room. Not buck naked. Come on, you're really not mad at me, are you? Yes, I am, actually. It's bad enough competing with the girls around here, but there is no way to compete against a fantasy girl whose breasts defy gravity. You're overreacting. I don't think so. Drive yourself to school. Nina. You get two days off from school to debate. It's a state tournament. Egghead City. Can I help it if I'm beautiful, popular, and smart? Not to mention modest. Did I tell you how sorry I am that you didn't make the team? Oh, she can see you're really gripped. <laughs> it's okay, actually, because Josh offered me a really great consolation prize for being first alternate. Um, dinner on the pier. Sounds romantic. <laughs> I think candlelight dinner for two on the pier makes up for not spending the weekend in downtown Egghead City. Uh, but... <laughs> Casey, I thought you had gym fourth hour. Um, I do, but I, I, um, spilled ink on me and a broken pen, you know. No big. So, pick any part of Huck Finn that you want. But I am expecting a theme, topic sentences, and a clear argument. And remember, the term paper counts for a third of your semester grade. Any questions? Yeah. What's the note say? <laughs> Perhaps Zach would like to tell us himself. <laughs> I hope I don't think the same about your paper. 
Grab some lunch. <laughs> Were you listening to anything in there? I can't believe sophomore grades are the first ones sent in transcripts to colleges. And the connection to today's lunch being... I have to study. Mm. Come on, college is three years away. You'd be an awful thin co-ed. My mom was in the first class at Yale that accepted women. So it was like this big, life-changing experience for her. And I just want colleges to be like that for me. And for me studying at lunch... Fine, fine. That means you'll be hungry for dinner. Mom will be thrilled. I know, I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the mysterious Morrisons. You haven't told me a thing about them. What's to tell? They're my parents. You know what I mean, like where they met in high school or college. In high school. They didn't go to college. No one in my family ever went to college. Wow, so you'll be the first one. They will be so proud. <laughs> I'm not going to college. Of course you're going to go. I can't afford it. Right, so you'll get like a scholarship or a student loan. It's pretty competitive. I mean, ever since moving to first hour English, I've barely been pulling C's. Right, but you're adjusting, and as soon as you do, the grades will come. What if they don't? They will. What if they don't? They will. understood why people have tournaments just so you can argue the best. Man, rich people, they got too much time on their hands. It's definitely, man. Oh, no doubt. Man, I think we should hold our own tournament. What are we gonna argue about? How ugly you are? <laughs> Fool, not the rinky dink school debate. I'm talking world champion. Get us records, 45 and 45 minutes. You think she'll be impressed if you break an egg eating record? She? She who? She Ashley, the one who don't even know you exist. Flipper Gage, world champion. Is that a pickup line or what? What? Man. <laughs> you can't avoid me forever. Watch me. I'm sorry about the magazine. I'll cancel my subscription. I'm kidding. I don't have a subscription. It's just insulting, Josh. I mean, I fantasize about you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest couple of all? Josh and Nina? I don't think so. <laughs> what does he see in her? People are so disappointing, and then there's me. Ash, are you thinking of poisoned apples? No. But now that you mention it, there has been a death in the family. Hey, Ash, what's wrong? My grandmother died. I'm sorry. Were you close? I can't go to the tournament. Really? I mean, um, that's too bad. We really won't be as good without you. Well, of course you won't, but you'll do the best you can. Right. <laughs> and this, oh God, he loved his Winnie the Pooh outfit. That is so cute. I know. <laughs> And this one, I think he's about six there. A nice touch. <laughs> Show me more. Okay. On pain of death. Oh, come on. I'm your mom. I'm supposed to brag about you. Yeah. Look at that one. Now, the way you talk, it sounds like he's going to be president. I think he could be. Of course he could. Two votes down, 48 million to go. <laughs> oh, uh, you got mine, too, but you don't always get what you want. Oh, my God, a Boy Scout. <laughs> Mr. Baker didn't give you the raise, did he? Two percent. Promise four. Is there more? Darn right. Which is uh, why I've decided that if he doesn't give me what I want, I'm gonna quit. Not more? Hmm. She's scared, but she thinks it's the right thing. Been there 23 years, never took a sick day. Practically run the place. Practically? Mr. Baker would be lost without you. I'll definitely cave. Maybe. Uh, if he doesn't, I'd like to see him uh, run the place after I'm gone, huh? <laughs> Probably last week. <laughs> Probably cold. It's nice of Arturo to give you that extra shift. Nice if he paid a living wage. How was school? Great. Voted most likely to live in a van. 
almost got caught for sneaking into the locker room so I could shower. I've got two interviews tomorrow, both at fancy restaurants. Waitresses there clear 400 a week, in tips alone. Hey, Casey, it won't be like this for long. You'll see. But I think I finally got my theme. Care to have a few bars? I wrote about Huck's relationship with his dad. I thought it was something I could really relate to. My dad really liked you. Cool. Actually, both your parents were really great. And what your dad's doing about work, man, he is fearless. He is, isn't he? <laughs> so, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Actually, I'm still kicking around a few ideas. Hey, kick away. Well, I can't decide between death and rebirth. Isolation and loneliness, or superstition in the river? Cliff notes? <laughs> what makes you say that? All the ideas are so impersonal. I mean, the cool thing about literature is the way it touches you. How did the book make you feel? Right now, pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Finding out what to write about is the hardest part. I'm sure once you do, it'll be great. Bye. Ashley, what about your grandmother? It's tough. I try to look on the bright side, you know. Without me, a third place finish is as good as a victory. Hey, guys. Hey. Good luck, all right? Thanks. I don't like you leaving still being mad at me. Well, maybe a few days apart might do us some good. Will you call me? Hey! All aboard! I gotta go. Uh... Bye. Can't believe your dad's the chaperone. Yeah, neither can he. Trouble in paradise? Yeah. I mean, no. I... I don't know. Gin Rummy? Hmm? His heart's okay? Uh, you need three people. Okay, whatever. I'm glad you're coming. <laughs> Shame to let your reservations go to waste. Nina told me about your constellation dinner. She thought it would make me jealous. Did it? Just hungry. I thought you had a funeral tomorrow. You want me to mourn? Turn me down. So your grandmother didn't die? Sure she did. A year ago. Flag burning. One person's desecration is another person's freedom of speech. The First Amendment protects it. Okay, um, four-letter word written on the back of somebody's jacket. Um, freedom of expression? If people don't like it, then they're free to express themselves by turning the other way. Okay, you guys really know your stuff. I'm proud. Okay, you can relax. I'm out of here. So, oh, enjoy the rest of the trip. You know your stuff? Nah, I can say the words, I just don't believe them. Why, you don't think that the First Amendment gives unlimited protection? Put it this way. If the team arguing for the First Amendment points to pornography, I'm switching sites. <laughs> okay, yeah, but, uh, censor someone today, you could be censored tomorrow. Well, that's nice in theory, but when you find pictures of Miss April in your boyfriend's bedroom, it doesn't hold up. Okay, yeah, but that's not a First Amendment issue. That's an I'm as mad as hell issue. Yeah. Josh, that's at all guys' brow. Do you think it's true? I don't know. I mean, I couldn't say. You asking from personal experience? It's just annoying as all, you know? Okay, maybe guys do browse. But uh, not all guys have you. And if anyone does, they're nuts to look at another girl. Real or imagined. Your paper? Chloe's. Check this out. 
Puck's father was a drunk, vicious and mean. Puck tried to be understanding, but the more chances he gave Pap, the worse he was treated. Finally, he made what for a child is the most difficult choice imaginable. He decided he was better off without his father. I moved. Come on, it's about the book. It's about Chloe and her dad. It's so personal. People should keep their private life private. The point is, I'm in way over my head here. Never doubted yourself before. Never knew I had a reason to. You don't. And you shouldn't be with anyone who makes you feel different. You ever think of going to college? Sure. College of Cardinals. But I don't think they accept women. I think about it all the time. Apple and a water. Mom made this incredible breakfast. Huevos rancheros, home fries, toast with loads of butter and jelly. Thanks for the invite. I never notice how much morning sun our kitchen gets. I can still feel it on my face. How's the chair? Nine and nine minutes. Right on schedule. You didn't hear this from me, but tomorrow night, Lee's parents are going out of town. She's having a party. So if you were to show up... What the hell is she doing? Training for a world record. Didn't know there was a category for world's most pathetic. But you could do this? <laughs> like I'd want to. Those who can, do. Those who can't, heal. Name the time, name the place. Come on. <laughs> Written time. Just a few more and I'm done. Yeah. Oh. Any sign of Baker? I heard his truck pull up. Hey, for uh, what it's worth, I think you're doing the right thing. Thanks. Maggie says you needed to talk? Yeah, it's about the race. We've been over this, Ed. I just don't think 2% is enough. It's the best I can do. Well, I'm not very happy about it. I just want you to know that. I'm glad you told me. I'll try and do better next year. Okay? Sure. I can explain. You don't have to. Let's just finish up and go, all right? Okay. Kathy Lee or Sharon Stone? We're talking about Josh here. Is there any doubt? Now that you mention it, no. Let's <laughs> accessorize. Oh, think I could borrow these for the party tomorrow night? Someone special are you trying to impress? Maybe. Justin is such a catch. Actually, I invited Mouse. Julie, he's named after a rodent. <laughs> That's funny. I think he's kind of cute. Oh, sorry, they're not insured. Did Josh dump Nina yet? Like a rock. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Streets aren't safe here. <sighs> We'd go to a better neighborhood, but, uh... They've got security patrols. How'd the interviews go? Thank you. We're uh, still interviewing. Thank you. We'll let you know. Thank you, but no thank you. Scavenged off some other kids. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't. Everything is going to be okay. okay. Hello. It was horrible, wasn't it? <laughs> what? My paper. 
the one you haven't said a word about. <laughs> oh, it's great. Come on. It's only my first draft. You can tell me what you really think. Yale's gonna be lucky to have you. You're sweet. Hey, what happened with your dad? He didn't. What makes me crazy is he's way too smart to be stuck in that dead-end job. That's never gonna happen to you. What makes you say that? Because you're the smartest guy I know. Oh, look, I, I gotta go. Still gotta finish my paper. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll just catch you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. dinner. Have you heard from anybody from the debate team? Uh, no, have you? Well, they should be there by now, and I was just wondering how their trip went. Do you really? Well, Nina told me they were going to argue about the First Amendment. It sounded pretty cool. Let's go. Come on. There's lots of kinds of speech. Like what? Well, there are words, of course. Like, I'm really glad we're here together. And there are gestures, like, for instance. Both protected by the Constitution. Ironclad, 100%. And these are just a couple of the ways I'm constitutionally able to express myself. And are you allowed to express yourself like this? Uh-huh. And like this. And there's always. It's pretty broad protection. It's a great country. <laughs> Papers on my desk, and no homework tonight. You've earned the break. <laughs> Ooh, the mystery paper at last. Give it back, Chloe. <laughs> Feels like genius. Even looks like genius. Chloe, please. The question is, does it read like? I'm serious. <laughs> okay. I can explain. You copied me. Hey, Case, Bree's having a party tonight. <laughs> My guess, Madonna is too. I wasn't invited to either. Well, you can come with us. Pass. Yeah, 7.30 sound good? No. Well, the party's at 8. Are you deaf or just dumb? Yeah. All right, 7.45. Pick up your place. Spirit. Meet you at your place, 8 o'clock. Oh, your house is on the way, though. I said your place. That's where it's going to be. Whatever. As the Founding Fathers wrote, Congress should make no laws abridging the freedom of speech. Not speech we like, not speech we agree with, just speech. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Thanks. Thanks. I'm so glad I sober my head. I'm so nervous. Yeah, tell me about it. Daddy, you're gonna do fine. You're gonna do better than fine. You're gonna clinch it. Yeah, right. If the judges don't notice a small puddle forming at my feet. <laughs> Teddy, you are the smartest person I know. So you get out there and you waste them. Got it? Got it. What was the subject again? Next, from <sighs> Stacey Lang from West Hill High, from PC High, Teddy Delacroix. Teddy, you're up. Teddy. Huh? Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. 
first, you guys got one hour, all right? Second, all the eggs need to be hard-boiled. And third, you can drink as much as you want. Finally, and most importantly, no hurling. All right? Understand? Ready? Set. And chow! <laughs> I say you've been acting kind of weird. Consider the source. <laughs> I did. Then I tried to call you today. Phone's disconnected. Where's Goldilocks? We had a fight. She dump you? The term paper copied off of someone else. Off Chloe. Do you see it now? <laughs> Why is she so bad for you? Come on, she didn't make me cheat. Oh, no, I suppose the devil made you do it. She wants you to be somebody you're not. Newsflash, Case. I want to be someone I'm not. Why? Because I do. All right? I just do. Mom lost her job. When? Two weeks. I'm sorry. That's not our world. The sooner you accept that, the better off you'll be. to jumpstart my paper. I used some of your ideas, but it's not like I copied word for word. It's still cheating. Look, school doesn't come easy for me, all right? And the more you assume it does, the worse I feel. So this is my fault, right? No, I just think sometimes you don't see me for who I am. Mrs. Turner called me in. Asked if you copied off me. What'd you say? I lied for you. I hate you for making me do that. You're the man. You're working much too hard to impress a model with you, but you're still the man. Come on, you can do it, man. Go. Why? Yeah. Go. Yeah. Caravan and let him go. Oh, right. I'm the bad influence on him. You're changing him. How? By wanting him to do well? But not seeing that he is doing well. He does so much and you make him feel as if he's done nothing. He's never cheated before. He told you about that? He tells me everything. <laughs> Did I mention that my track sectionals are next week? Ashley, chill out. How about a little consideration? Like the consideration you showed last night? Nina knows these people. Besides, last night was a mistake. You don't really think that. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have let us go as far as we did last night if I didn't think you were ready to make a commitment. No one said anything about a commitment. Well, we practically did it. Nina! I mean, Ashley... Upstairs in Bree's bedroom, and when you realize just how amazing I am, you'll find me there. A woman left. <laughs> she did it. 
One for the tie, two for the win. I can't, I can't. 30 seconds, bro. Two more, she's yours. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You wanna dance? I thought you never ask. Lock the door. tonight. Nina won't be happy at first, but you'll see we belong together. My horoscope this month said that my cosmic match is an amorous Aries, I swear. Josh, say something nice to me. Talk. Oh my gosh! Oh, I need some air. I gotta get some air. Chunks in my back seat and your roadkill. Oh. Oh, hey, what about my van? Well, I'm your designated driver. Your cholesterol's way over the legal limit. Oh. Oh. Hey, what about Casey? Sigma Mouse wants to hang with Julie, so he'll give her a ride. Cool. I mean it, man. No chunks. Let's roll. That was really great of you to take us all out like that. Hey, to the victors go the spoils. Um, I'll be over in a minute. Okay, uh, I'll leave the door unlocked. <laughs> I've never been part of a winning team before. The uh, best part is going to be seeing the look on Ashley's face when she finds out we won without her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to sound really terrible, but... Um... I'm kind of glad about Ashley's grandmother. That is terrible. <laughs> but I know how you feel. Well, um, that's it. Yeah. About what happened on stage, you know you're not allowed to kiss a guy who's crazy about you unless you're crazy about him. There's a law. Sorry. You're right. Um, well... <laughs> Sleep well. Yeah, you too. Yeah? Zach, it's Mrs. Martinez. Martinez, what is it? Is Casey all right? Uh, well, she she hasn't come back yet. I'm worried. Party broke up hours ago. You tried Miles? You gave her a ride. He said you did. No. Look, I'm I'm sure she'll be home soon. Um. 
Zach, the problem is that we don't have a home. <laughs> what are you talking about? She doesn't want anyone to know this, but uh, we lost our home last week. Uh, haven't been able to pay the rent. I'm sorry. Where have you been living? We're living out of the van. forever. I... I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, I... The reason I didn't take this up with Principal Bingham is because that came forward. Copying from Chloe was inexcusable. I know that. Maybe it was a mistake moving you into the accelerated class. Maybe you're not ready. I don't know whether it was a mistake or not, but I'd like another chance. I want your paper tomorrow. Thank you. Go ahead. Let me have it. Ball me out. Tell me how I let you down. God knows I deserve it. I'm not mad. As a matter of fact, I'm the one who owes the apologies. You're making me not want to end up like me. That's not why I did it. I saw your face at the nursery when I backed down. I know you were ashamed. Then why didn't you say anything? Well, partly because I was scared, I guess, but mostly because I figured if I swallow my pride, maybe you wouldn't have to swallow yours. See, we brought you into this world, Zach. Whatever we have to do to put food on the table or clothes on your back, that's exactly what we're going to do. Because that's exactly what we want to do. The only thing I'm not going to do is accept you thinking that you're not good enough. Because you are. Teddy, I'll see you after school. Bye, Mr. Delacour. Bye. Oh, Mr. Thanks for your help. They're beautiful. You shouldn't have. Josh. Hey, T-Bone, I hear you brought home the gold. <laughs> nice flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Mom was pretty worried last night. Thanks for coming to get me in. For not saying anything to anyone. Gosh, my place. You'll be okay. What can I do? Hold me. I just want you to know, I don't normally hurl in situations like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Last night, you, me, the moonlight. You must have me confused with someone else. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, you sure had me confused with Josh. Nothing happened between us last night, OK? We didn't talk to each other. We didn't see each other. We definitely didn't touch each other. Are we clear? Free country. Okay. 
Three months ago, I was nowhere. And it was killing me. And then I meet you. I end up at the school. And suddenly, anything's possible. It is, and you don't have to cheat to get it. I guess I couldn't see that. Why didn't you just talk to me? I couldn't. You talked to Casey. You keep shutting me out, and when you do want me, I'm not going to be there. But Casey understands me. I know, I know. And I'm supposed to be cool and OK with that. But it's hard. Just go easy, OK? You know what? Don't defend your ex to me. It's bad form. Her mom lost her job, all right? They're homeless. So, you had a nice trip. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of work and everything, but yeah. How about you? It was OK. Uh, Brie had a party. Yeah? Sounds yeah. like fun. You know, there's Listen something that I... <laughs> why don't Why don't you go first? No, you. OK. Well, see, um, while I was gone, um, I was really ticked at you about the magazine, you know? And um, mm -hmm. Teddy was there. And he was just so nice and understanding. You and Teddy. We kissed. Twice, if you count the one time on the stage. But I feel really awful about it. I mean, I feel like I... I feel like I cheated. I thought it was the right thing to do at the time, but now I wish that I could take it back and I just... Hey. I... It's okay. It is? It happened and now it's over. So let's just forget about it. You're serious? Oh, my God, that is so mature. <laughs> I could just die. What was it you wanted to tell me before? You know, I completely forgot. I can't believe Nina forgave Josh for being with you. Hello? Do you think that Josh told her? No. But when I let it slip, you wouldn't. <laughs> That's very nice of you. But I can't do it. It's only temporary. The apartment above the garage is empty. There's no reason you and Casey shouldn't stay there till you get back on your feet. If it was just me, I would say yes. But she's going to be so embarrassed. It's because of her that you should say yes. I'm going to be helping out around the house until I get another job. It is for the best. Sure it is. <laughs> but I think I have my theme. Care to have a few bars? Huck's fearless. He leaves home, starts a new life. Doesn't care what people think about him or what they expect. He believes he can do anything. He can. He already has. I'd like you to read it when I'm done. I think it's going to be pretty good. So do I. 